Hi, this is Pete's Perfect Food. Back here with a cracking little video for today. And today I'm just going to show you a little method that most people don't use anymore. It's called candying. And I'm going to show you with a grapefruit and how to make it and what you should do with it. So let's hop into it. Okay, so for this recipe, I've just got one beautiful big grapefruit, 200 grams of sugar, 200 milliliters of water. And I've also got to set up here two baking sheets, one with a drying rack on. That is going to be for the slices that I'm going to do of the uh, grapefruit. And this is to do the zest of the grapefruit. And all you need now as well is a big pan to do all this up with. So first job is first, I've got to put the sugar and the water into the pan and make a sugar syrup. Right, so like I say, first thing to do is get my sugar, so it's equal amounts of sugar to water, which will make a perfect syrup. Now at this point, if you wanted to use different fruits, different things to candy, that's absolutely fine. And also, what you can do with this sugar syrup is put different flavourings in. So my personal favourite is like if you put some cinnamon in with this, and do it with some candied apples, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks stunning on the top of a cake. You can actually break it up into a cake. Again, you can use this. You can put it on top of puddings. It's lots of different things you can use with this recipe. So that's why I'm showing you it now. A medium high heat for about three to five minutes until it starts getting a little bit thicker and all the sugar is dissolved in it. Right, so as you can see, the sugar is starting to melt into the, dissolve, sorry into the water. This has been about three minutes now, so I'm going to give it another two minutes just to slightly thicken up. And then what I'll show you is the grapefruit and what I've done with the zest and the slices. Right, so the sugar syrup's had about four or five minutes now and it's just starting to get nice and thick. What I've done over here is I've literally julienned the uh, peel, the zest, sorry, of the grapefruit so it's nice and thin. So what that can also do is go into cakes, go into puddings, like I say, or it can be garnished as well, which is really nice. I've just literally peeled it, topped it, tailed it, and just went around the edge of the grapefruit. And all I'm gonna do now is put it on the side, make nice flat round discs ready to go on top of a cake. It'll look absolutely stunning. So literally all I've got to do now is wait for the water to slightly thicken even a little, about next minute or so. And then all I'm gonna do is drop in the zest, leave it in there for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then all I'll do is using a slotted spoon, place it onto the baking sheet and then literally with the then slices of the grapefruit we'll have we'll do the exact same thing and then they can dry off on there. Now drying off takes between 12 to 24 hours so just be patient with this one. Right so this has had about another minute or so and I'm quite happy with it now so all I'm going to literally do is drop in the zest, just gently go in and like I say, this will literally take about 60 seconds to about a minute and a half, just to make sure it's all nice and coated. That's all the zest in there. Right, so the zest is now in. It's gonna give it another 30 to 45 seconds. Just to make sure it's all nice and coated, but it doesn't take very long to cook this zest because it's very thin, which is one of the luxuries of doing it. But like I say, what you can do is like things like oranges, lemons, limes, uh, bananas is a nice one to do as well. So literally you can have a good old play with this one and you be really really creative with what you want to do with it. Right, so we've literally had a minute and a half and all I'm going to do now is this is candied now. So I'm going to leave it well alone for 24 hours just to dry out and then what I'll do then is tomorrow I'll show you what I'll do to finish this all off. So over here I've just got my slices of grapefruit and they're going to go in the syrup now exactly the same way as I did the zest. Right, so as you can see, literally just put them in. Now this takes about two, two and a half minutes. Again, just got to be patient with it. It'll just gently coat it all with sugar syrup. And like I say, what I'll do then is I'll put it on the other rack and leave them to dry for again 24 hours. Right, so as you can see, it's had two and a half minutes now. I'm actually going to leave them again for 24 hours on the cooling rack, just so they can dry off and get nice and dried and ready to be put into jars, just for whenever you need them, really. It's a good way of not wasting fruit, and uh, particularly at the moment with the way COVID is. 
So any way of saving money, I'm all for it. Right, so I've had 24 hours in the airing cupboard and they're nice and solid now. And all I need to do now is put into a jar and they're good to go. The same with the slices of the grapefruit. Again, they're ready to be put into a jar, ready for whenever I need them. And they look really, really cool on top of a cake or even better with a zest, if you put them into a spice grinder, grind it up and then into a cake, it gives it such an amazing flavour, it's unreal. Right, so there you have it. That is my perfect way of candying fruit. You can candy vegetables, you can also candy ham as well. And um, maybe even try it with fish. I've never tried with fish. So if you, in the comments, let me know if you've done that before. I'd really love to hear from you. So as always, join the food family and uh, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. And as always, you legends, I love you, you're amazing. So.